Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't posted. Ew, this is disgusting. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that I haven't posted a video in so dang long. You guys, I'm so sorry. My camera has been going crazy on me. Like I'm filming on my GoPro right now and I see the battery is almost done and I'm freaking out. So I'm trying to film this intro as fast as possible. But long story short, I'm back and I'm filming on my GoPro because my camera hates me. And yeah, I can't wait to do this video today. So if you don't know by the title, I am reviewing the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna show you guys how I got this eye look today, talk about some of my favorite shades, which I actually don't think I did. Some of my favorite shades are Pukey, Silk Cream, no, MFEO, Buns, Beam, and Meeks. And every other shade in here is really, really pretty. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Diana and <laughs> I'm finally posting videos again, so you should subscribe to see if I actually post videos again. But I really am going to. I have ideas, and I've missed you guys, and there's almost 300 of you, which is insane. That means we're a third of the way. Well, right now we're like a quarter, but we're almost a third of the way. Third of the way to a thousand. You're probably watching this and thinking I'm totally stupid, but I'm just really, really excited, and I can't talk. And I think it's time that we get into this video. So if you're ready to hear my review of the Jaclyn Hill palette, you are in the right place. Just keep on watching. Alrighty, so this is the completed eye that I have for today that I'm gonna just show you guys kind of how the shadows blend to achieve this look, but this isn't necessarily a tutorial or you have to do this. This is just kind of what I came up with playing with some of the shadows and I'm really excited to show you guys how I got this eye look and then give you a more in-depth review of this palette Finally, because I love the Jaclyn Hill palette and I can't wait to tell you guys all about it. So I've got my cheat sheet right here. This has all the colors and I'm gonna just put this right there so I can kind of stare at it. Now first, I am not going in with a shade from the palette because believe it or not, I have a complaint. The Jaclyn Hill palette does not have a matte skin tone shade, which I just feel like it's very disappointing because it is a great all over lid kind of setting shade if you have a paler skin tone, but I decided to pick up a matte cream shade called Cream Puff. This is from Morphe and I'm going to just put this all over the lid as a base. Now I will say uh, if you have oily eyelids, it is a great idea to set them with a matte eyeshadow or a setting powder. My favorite setting powder right now is from Glossier and it is the Wouter. Your review is coming shortly on that because I love it. Now we're going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and mine is very dirty and very loved and I'm just I'm so excited. So you guys have probably seen a gazillion videos, swatches of this palette, but I just wanna show you guys kind of what I did on my eye look today. So first I'm going in with MFEO or Silk Cream. These are both very similar but have a little bit of a different undertone. And I'm going to just put that on that same all over eyelid flat shader brush, tap off any excess. These shadows do not have too much fallout or kick up when you go in with a brush. I found that if you go in with a fluffy blending brush and you do tap a little bit more firmly or you swirl your brush, there is some kick up in some of the darker matte shades but in a lot of these matte shades, I found that they are beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is just go in with that MFEO, and I'm going to put that pretty much all over the lid, but focus that in the crease in the outer corner of the eye. Now the reason I said this isn't a tutorial is because it's really not. I literally just threw on some shadows, and this is kind of what I've been loving to do recently. So now I'm going in and picking up Pukey, which is right here in the middle. It's this really beautiful, warm terracotta kind of shade. And this one does have a little bit of kick up, but it's not bad at all. So I'm going to create kind of that outer wing and drag this underneath. I have done my face makeups. This is no big deal. And I'm going to just put this all over the eyelid and sweep it everywhere. I love this brush. Uh, the brushes I'm using are from Sephora, and this is an angled shadow brush, and I really love this. I feel like it really gives me the shape that I want. It is fluffy, it is soft, and it blends shadows beautifully. 
So I feel like I really packed on that pigment. So I'm going to just go in with a fluffy brush. This one is also from Sephora. It is a rounded crease brush and I'm going to just blend out any harsh lines or edges. Have it to go back to the other eye. <laughs> I haven't stared at you guys yet. I've been staring right here, but not right here. And now I'm right in your face. So sorry, y'all. It's been a while. So now what I'm going to do is go in with that same brush and I'm picking up this beautiful shade right here. And this is buns. I love this shadow. It is almost like a warm mauvey rosy brown and it's so pretty. I almost put it on this side. So I'm going to just use this to deepen up the crease and outer corner a little bit on this eye and drag it down underneath because these rosy tones are just so pretty you just want to use them all over the eyes you know what i mean okay so again just blend out any harsh lines so now using my fingertip i'm going in to this lovely shade right here this is sbn and it is just a gorgeous kind of pinky coppery satin shade. I love using it on a fingertip and I'm going to just pop this on my lid. So I'm going in with a small shadow brush from Sephora and I am picking up the shade Beam which is right here. Scooting in a little bit so you can see me. And I'm going to just pick that up and I'm going to just sweep that on the inner corner and drag it on the lower lash line. And we will go in and blend this out. I have found that this color does work well with the fingertips as well. If you don't want to use a brush, but you're going to get beautiful results either way. I am going to go back in with the fingertip and just really brighten up that inner corner. Sweet. So now going in with a blending brush. This one is from Morphe. I picked this up with my order and this is the MB23 brush. I actually don't like using this brush with Morphe shadows because I find that it's honestly just a little bit scratchy. It's a soft brush, but it's not as soft as the Sephora brushes or the EcoTool brushes. And so it kind of picks up a lot of pigment. It's kind of messy. It's great for blending out edges or blending a shadow all over the place, but I wouldn't recommend it for anything but blending. Now I'm going to just curl my lashes. This is the Shiseido eyelash curler and let me tell you guys, it is worth it to spend $20 on an eyelash curler. And this is the Their Real Tinted Primer. I absolutely love this. I feel like it gives really beautiful natural eyelashes. If you wanted to, falsies would be beautiful this with blah, blah, blah. If you wanted to, falsies would be beautiful with this look to really get that cat eye effect. Uh, but I am not doing anything with my day, so this is good enough for me. What I mean is I don't want to like put falsies on and then like go work out and everyone will be like, someone's looking glam to work out today and I'll be like, yep. Okay, so now I really wanna get into the palette because doing eyeshadow is not that fun and uh, we're here for this. So the Jaclyn Hill palette is beautiful. You guys all know that it comes with 35 custom shades designed by Jaclyn Hill and it's beautiful. You guys, I apologize that this is so dirty but I just wanted to show you guys a little up close of the colors. They are gorgeous, are they not? So freaking pigmented. I'm sorry, I'm shaking. I'm just so excited. Ugh, this palette is beautiful. This retails for $38, whereas a palette like the Modern Renaissance retails for $42. So you really are getting an incredible deal with this palette. And the shadows are great. The mattes blend out beautifully. The satin and glittery shades are extremely pigmented, blendable, and beautiful. They swatch beautifully as well. And that's pretty much how they look on your eyelids. 
as beautiful as they swatch. The matte shadows blend so well, so, so well that a beginner could use this palette. And I'm just overall very, very impressed. I've only dived, dove in, dove in, dived, dove into a few shadows, but I'm overwhelmed. It's so stinking good. And I can't wait to dive into these warm tones come the fall time. I will say some of these warm tone shadows really do remind me of the Modern Renaissance palette. You've got shades like Red Ochre, which reminds me of this shade right here, Jax. But as you can see, this is the Jaclyn Hill shade. This is the Anastasia shade. Jaclyn Hill did an incredible job and her shadows are so pigmented. So even though they're from Morphe, they're on the same level as Anastasia, Urban Decay, ColourPop, just really, really high pigmented shadows. My one complaint, as you guys heard before, is that there is no cream matte setting shade. I wish we could have had one of, whoops. I wish we could, I can't hold this. We could have done so much more with that matte cream shade. Uh, wow, this palette is so dirty. Uh, shouldn't have made it white. My other complaint is I found that the matte black is a little bit chalky. The matte black that I have in my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette I find is a little bit better quality. And for those of you who know me, you know that I'm not a huge fan of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I have one, but you know, there's just better shadows out there and Urban Decay beats this black matte shade. I find that it's not as pigmented as it looks. It is kind of a pain in the butt to blend. It's chalky, it's patchy, and you know. If it works for you, it works for you. It just didn't really work for me. Overall, this is an insane palette. It did relaunch today, which is when I'm hoping to get this video up. But if I don't, the palette has already relaunched and it's not sold out yet. It is about four o'clock central time when I'm filming this and the palette is still available. So hopefully by the time, by the time I post this, it's still available. I'm talking like crazy. Anyways, not gonna go through and swatch any of the shades. You guys have seen this palette a gazillion times. I'll link Jaclyn Hill's video where she introduces the palette, talks about all the shadows, all the shades. You are welcome to download the PDF of the shades if that's what you would like to do. But let me tell you guys, I cannot wait to continue to use this palette in tutorials and videos. I can't wait to use these shades. Like, ah, and do you see how pigmented they are? Beautiful, blendable, and I would highly recommend this palette, you guys. It's worth it. It is worth the hype. My hair is falling out, which means it is time for the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, then not only stick around by subscribing, but give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you'd like to see from me next. Coming up, I will be reviewing some products from Glossier, which I am obsessed with. I've been trying out for a couple of weeks and I can't wait to share them with you guys. Uh, but yeah, follow me on all social media. It'll be linked down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all.